How's everybody doing? All right, good morning. Um, I have a bit of a confession to make. I love Twitter. I do, I love social networking. But lately some of my friends have been commenting on some sort of odd tweets I've been sending out. Things like, at Chuck E. Cheese in Kirkland, or I can't wait to be the mayor of Mikey's Pub. Well, the reason for these odd tweets is an application you may be familiar with called Foursquare. And I'm gonna show it to you today on uh, the Windows Phone 7 series. Now, with Foursquare, the deal is you check in. And when you check in, it notifies your friends via Foursquare, Facebook, or of course, my love, Twitter, uh, and lets you know where you are and also tells you where they are. And when you check in, it suggests places to go and things to do nearby. But one of my, one of my favorite features of Foursquare is the tips and tricks section. And in this section, you can really help out your friends by, by sending out messages like, you guys have to hit up the cute bartender at the Hard Rock. He, he serves the best mojito. So let's go ahead and check in. Now, when you check in, as uh, Scott was mentioning, my phone automatically knows where I am. It knows I'm at the Mandalay Bay Hotel here in Las Vegas. And these push pins that you'll see on the map represent fun places to go and things to do nearby. So also, as Scott mentioned, inside the application, we're not taken out to another application. I can go ahead with the Bing Maps integration and Silverlight, of course, and I can zoom, I can pan, I can scroll in or zoom in to find the exact location that I want to go to. But if I don't feel like using the map feature, I also have the list right here of all the locations and restaurants. So let's go ahead and, and, and check into a place where I think that we should all go maybe after the keynote, <laughs> grab a bite to eat. Um, let's see, just wait till something catches my eye. Ooh, that place had terrible service. I think I was thrown out of that place. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check into the mix. Now, when you check in, it brings up the details page. And the details, the details page, you have a couple options. You can get directions, you can check in, or you can add a shout. And if any of you um, know me, you know I'm a big fan of shouting. So, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll type in a message. Let's see. Killing it at the keynote. <laughs> oh, I can spell. O-T-E, go ahead, OK. That's good enough. So go ahead and click OK and check in. And it sends that shout to all my friends so they know uh, where I am and what I'm up to. Click OK. Now we're back at the main page. And there's one, just one more thing that I want to show you guys. It's the, it's the friends section. So when you click on the friends section, hopefully I have a friend or two that will pop up. But it does this very similar thing to what it did with the restaurants. Now, instead of giving you locations, it's giving you people. And you've got all the same functionality with Bing Maps. You can scroll, pan, and zoom. And these push pins represent my friends. They're also listed here, and it shows um, sort of their recent activity and what they've been up to, where they've been checking in. So let's go ahead and click on a friend here. Oh, TT. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's usually at the slot machines. Apparently, she's at the Tropicana. We'll go ahead and click on her avatar, and, and it shows you her details. She's a newbie, where she is. Uh, from this point, you can call her. You can send her an email. Or if you click here, it gives you directions. And Bing gives you simple directions on the map of how to get to where she is. But we're, we're not going to go meet TT, because like I said, hopefully, we're going to meet up with all of you guys after the keynote. Um, and yeah, and that's it. That's Foursquare on Windows Phone 7. Hope you liked it. Thanks, Laura. Uh.